Okay, in this video we are going to talk about Laravel authentication and using Laravel 5.1 it is super easy to get set up with a full authentication system in our application. So let's go ahead and get started and create a new Laravel app. So I'm going to say Laravel new auth and I will create a new Laravel application in this auth folder. So as soon as that gets completed I can then cd into this auth directory and I can run php artisan serve and I can confirm that localhost 8000 has a blank Laravel install inside of the auth folder. So the next step that we'll want to do is go to our SQL Pro to our database and I want to show you that I've created a, an empty table called auth and this is what the this is the database that we are going to use for this application. So then I will go ahead and open up my .env file which is where we put our database credentials. So I will put in the database name which is auth and the username and password is just going to be root and root. So I will save that and then this new command is called php artisan migrate and what this command does is it runs all the migrations that are inside of our database migrations folder and before we run that let me open it up and show you real quick the files that are in there. So if I open up our application I can see inside of my database migrations we have two tables here which is a create users table and a create password resets table and once you run the PHP artisan migrate it will run these two files and create a users table and a password resets table we will go over migrations in a future video but right now I just wanted to show you what happens when we run this command so let's go ahead and go back and run the PHP artisan migrate and then we get a message on the screen saying that migration table is created successfully and it migrated these two files. So if I open up my auth database and refresh, you should see three new tables in there, which is our migrations table, our password resets, and our users table. So that's great. We have our all of the tables that we need for our authentication. So then let's jump over to the Laravel documentation and scroll down to authentication. And if we scroll down, we can see some routes that we need to add to our app HTTP routes file. So we'll just copy that and open up our app HTTP routes.php and paste these in here. So I will save that and go back to the documentation. And you can see that we need to create two more files here, which is the login file and the register file. So we will put these two files inside of resources, views, and a new folder in here called auth and I will create a new file inside of this auth folder and save that as login.blade.php and then I will create another new file and I will copy and paste the register.blade.php paste that save that as register.blade.php and then one last thing if I scroll down in the documentation you can see that when a user is successfully authenticated they will be redirected to the slash home URI so we need to create that inside of our routes.php so let's say route get home and then we will just print out, print out echo welcome home and let's start up our server again so php artisan serve and let's try to go to this home route so localhost 8000 slash home. Okay, and we can get there. Let's try getting to one of our auth slash login and auth slash register routes. So we will go auth slash login. And we can get there, and this is where we can log into our application and auth slash register. This is where we can register for an account in our application. So let's say that our name is John Doe, and we have John at doe.com and I will put in a password and then it will log me in it will create a new user and redirect me to our home route so let's open up SQL Pro and refresh and in here we do have a new user which is John Doe so let's say that we wanted this home route only to be accessible by an authenticated user so we could easily do that by going to our home route and we could say if auth guest so if this user is a guest then we want to redirect them to the login page and we'll say else 
welcome home and we'll save that and if you see inside of our route file here we have route get auth logout and this is the route that we will use to log the user out so since we are currently logged in let's go to auth slash logout and that will log us out so now let's try and go to the home route if we try and go to the home route it is going to redirect us to the login which we need to change that to auth slash login so let's try that again let's go to the home route and then it's going to redirect us to our auth slash login so now we can log in as our user so we could log in as john at doe.com and our password and then it will redirect us to our home page since we are authenticated it allows us to access the home page so let's take it a step further and say welcome home and print out that person's email address so we'll say welcome home john at doe.com so let's save that reload the page and sure enough we have welcome home john at doe.com okay let's go ahead and log out and let's create another user so let's go to auth slash register and we will register Jane Doe. So Jane at doe.com. Enter in a password and click register. Okay, so it went ahead and created a new user, then logged us in, and now it's saying welcome home, Jane at doe.com. So if we go to our SQL Pro, we can refresh the database and we can see that we have two users inside of there. And you can see the power of this. So anytime we want to get the authenticated user, we could use auth colon colon user and that will print out the current user object so it, we could also check if the user is logged in or if they are not logged in and let me show you one more thing what if we wanted to have a route where we had the user and then we pass in an ID and we needed to figure out whose email address is associated with this ID so we will create a user variable then we will say user find with ID and then we can just echo out the user with ID of has an email of and we'll just say user email so let's save that and let's go to our localhost slash user slash one. And we see that the user with an ID of one has an email of john at doe.com. Then let's go to two and we see that the user with an ID of two has an email of jane at doe.com. So I hope you can see just how it makes it really quick and easy to set up an authentication system in your application. And in the next video, we will be going over middleware and middleware allows us to protect our routes from things such as authentication and other types of functionality that we want to run before we hit a specific route.